Hello, strong people. It is week 10, day three of OSG Mid-Atlantic Regional Prep. It's our secondary press day today. Um, so we got log incline, log incline bench. Uh, I think it's pretty heavy, like up to a top set of three, I think. Um, so we'll see, depending on uh, how, I don't know. I, I'm, my brain tells me somewhere on the low fours, um, but I mean, it's all dependent. You know, see how warm ups feel, etc., all the usual stuff. Um, and then after that, there isn't a whole lot left. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I got the squat rack set up over there, so I'll be, it looks so it's tiny over there. Um, so I'll load that up here with the log and, uh, we'll get to some pressing. So I got to move a little bit more stuff over. I think I usually put an extra mat behind that mat just because of the way it fits. So, and it's really dirty. Uh, also I have a video that's up to like 2000 views almost somehow, not a short, like an actual video. It's way higher than any of my other ones. I have no idea why. I don't understand it. I'm not mad about it. It just, that one hit the algorithm a little bit better than any of the other ones. Cause I don't really try to hit the algorithm on my main videos. Sometimes I will on my shorts, but I don't even post that many shorts because I record this way for the main videos most of the time. So I don't record like up and down, whatever it is, like the 16 by nine format or whatever it would be. I don't know what the format is, whatever the, upright videos are. I just don't record that way very often, so my shorts don't look that good. But sometimes I try to, you know, use a cool sound or something to make those go a little bit better. But as far as my main videos, that one has way more views than any other ones for whatever reason. I don't know why. Thank you if you've watched it. Maybe I'll have to figure out what I did on that one and try to recreate it in some way. I don't know. I'm not really worried about it because I just like doing my thing, so... My thing is just lifting. So, not much else to say. Hopefully work up to something heavy. That's really about it. I gotta go uh, throw my elbow sleeves on, get some more mats, and uh, what else do I need? Oh, I gotta get my safeties from my squat rack over here. Forgot those. So, let's get into it. All right, so the main pressing is done. Not gonna lie, I did not do my top, well, I did my top set, but I didn't do like my plus set. So I was supposed to do um, working, like ascending triples essentially. So I did 360, 380, um, 410. So 410 for one would have been a PR. I hit it for three. That's pretty cool. Um, I was supposed to hit, uh, I was supposed to, whatever my top number was, so 410, um, I was supposed to hit another set of three plus. Wasn't gonna happen. I didn't have 410 in me for another single after that. The third rep on that, it fried me a little bit. Um, I mean, that's, uh, you know, triple, uh, three rep max PR essentially, so. But I'm very happy with that. Uh, I was not expecting that at all, honestly. I was expecting, well, I, I actually, I guess I was, because I did say low fours um, at the beginning here, but I guess I didn't really think that I'd get there. I was hoping, like I was going up and like it didn't feel that great, but I kept watching the videos. And I'm like, oh, that's moving pretty well. So I was like, well, let's just throw 10 extra. Well, I, 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 I hit 380 and I already knew I was going to 410. I wasn't going to hit 400. I was going, I'm, this is a PR day. So that was the plan. Um, went up to 410, moved pretty well. Uh, it was definitely heavy. I don't know that I would have had another rep with it and I don't think I would have had another set. So instead I uh, moved some more stuff in place. 
Got some more mats there. I have some low, I have some single arm rows, cable rows, I think. So I had to set this up over here. Um, which, oh, I didn't even think I showed you guys this. My new pull down machine. I think I talked about it, but another Facebook marketplace find. I'll be honest. I don't think it's a little bit dirty now because I used it like twice. When I say dirty, I mean like there's a slight chalk mark, but I mean, this thing looks, it looks brand new. I mean like hardly used at all. Peep the weighted out 45s. Use code Gussie five at their checkout for 5% off. It supports me, supports them. And I never plugged them, and I really should because they're a great company. They've helped me out a ton, and I actually I love their stuff. I really do. That's why I predominantly use their plates. I actually, yeah, I can't remember the last time I used regular, like a non weighted out 45. I don't have any other change plates, but yeah, for all my big lifts, I'm always using those. Um, Anyway, back to the lifting. So, press felt good. Happy with that. No, I'm not going to complain at all. Uh, it felt good to be stable. Squat rack not moving. It's on level ground. Bench isn't moving. It's, on, it's not on plywood like in the shed. It's crazy. <laughs> it makes such a difference. So maybe that's where I got 10 extra pounds. You know, the floor's not bowing underneath me. Um, to replace this bench at some point though it's it's been at it for a while still holding up all right but it scares me so low rows next i think so let's just get into that before i waste any more time Okay, so it's pretty much all there is. Um, I mean, I have some other types of rows, um, Zotman curl, tricep stuff, just like I've done every third uh, third day of the week for, I don't know, the last 10 weeks, I suppose. Um, it's really about all I got. Training is not very exciting. The last three four weeks out of a show. I say that all the time and um, it's very exciting for me because I'm that close to a show, but it's not very exciting for like, you know, this where I just don't have as many exercises to show you. I'm not, you know, there's not 10 sets of something. There's not seven sets of, you know, something stupid heavy. Um, it's like one comp run and then light accessories. So tomorrow though, I don't like training three days in a row, but not much of an option today since I pushed everything back a day. So tomorrow morning, going down to 580. Final big uh, event day session. So that's going to be it. my last one sucked. The last two sucked. So I got to make up for it. In, in, in my opinion, I need to make up for it. Um, it's essentially comp run everything. So. After how bad things were last week, it's this is a big session for me. It's going to be a big confidence booster if it goes well. So I got to rest well tonight, eat. I've eaten a lot this week, more so than I have, I think, in coming weeks. And I think it's paying off because my weight's not moving a whole lot, but I feel more energized. So... That's something I need to be more mindful of when I'm like four weeks out. I get hungry, hungry. And sometimes it's hard to get all that food in or I don't really think of it that much um, because usually what I eat is fine. It's enough. Um, but I'm like, you know, having a little side snacks here and there, a little bit of extra of something, a little bit more of this just to add in the extra calories, extra carbs, whatever. Um, and I'm pretty much going to try to do the same thing tonight, maybe even tomorrow morning. 
Uh, we'll see how full I feel when I wake up tomorrow. Um, even uh, I had some ramen noodles last night, and I wouldn't. I, people like demonize sodium and stuff, and yeah, if you have a ton of it, but you don't drink water, yeah, it's going to be awful. That's not going to be great for you. Um, but I drink plenty of water, and um, there's a ton of sodium in ramen noodles, obviously, so that's going to bloat you a little bit. And for big press days, I like to be a little bit more bloated. So, um, you know, you just feel a little fuller. Um, things feel a little bit better. I, I, I would imagine the same would go for squat. Um, I don't do regular squats like ever. So it's not really it's something, it's something I think about. Um, deadlifts are, I think there's a happy medium. Um, and then like event style stuff, that depends too. Um, I like to feel not bloated, not super full for those. Um, just because you need to be moving. So if you're bloated, you feel sluggish, slow. Um, so on comp days, there's things you got to, uh, there's not a whole lot of thinking um, once it's go time for the event usually, but there's, uh, you know, kind of a happy medium you got to find. Um, because you don't want to, you know, you don't want to feel empty for a big static event, but you also don't want to feel bloated and full too much for a, um, a moving event. So you got to find that happy medium in there somewhere. And, uh, that's really about it. Well, I need to go hurry up because we got to go do our usual grocery run, maybe Chinese food again because it seems like that's our new tradition. Chinese food on Fridays and going to get groceries. Also, there's pumpkin spice lattes back at Starbucks, and I don't get, I don't like Starbucks. Like the idea of a drink costing seven dollars like that is insane to me. However, I love pumpkin spice things, so. It is what it is. So I'm going to go get this stupid beard bun out, go get a shower, and then uh, go immerse myself in our wonderful society. It got a little strange there at the end. All right, anyway, that's it. Go out, get strong, stay strong, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.